Listen, we've got to cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? Player's manual, character switching. No need to read any of this, it's not story oriented. I already know how to do most of this stuff, I think. I'll go. Okay. okay. Follow me. Okay. That works for me. Alright then, let's see. Might as well tell it to stay put, because Billy's going to be a bit useless for a little I'll while. Okay. Oh yeah, while we're here, let's add a little bit of comedy to the mix. <laughs> Controlling two characters at the same time is well funny. <laughs> alright, alright. That's enough of that. <laughs> There's a letter here. Let's go. This game kind of reminds me of Chase the Express on the PlayStation 1. If any of you played it, you know what I'm talking about. Mind you, instead of zombies, there was uh, terrorists and very PlayStation 1 graphics, but the gameplay was very, very similar. Power cable has been disconnected. Reconnect the cable? Damn right. Well, I guess it's your turn to be stuck for a little while. Alright, I think there's also a key around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Take the train key, damn it. Take the first aid spray, hell yes. Alright then, so, important shit. Let's uh, put... the key in here. Such a pity you can't stick multiple items in here, that would be very handy. I'll just send all this shit down to Rebecca. Less an item here, yes I will. Right, then we're putting this in here. And we're gonna send it right off. Pretty sure there should be some, some other stuff around here. Hmm, I guess not. Could have sworn that there was. Oh well. Yeah, it's quite nice to uh, play as Rebecca again. Uh, it's been a while. I think she deserves another one of her own games because at the end of the day, there hasn't been a game with uh, Rebecca for. Over a decade now, she deserves her own game. The counter is laden with various types of food. Doesn't seem to be anything of use. Alright, then let's go grab my key. That all important key. Take the trim key, hell yes. Alright, then let's check out my item management. Alright, let's slap these two together. I think we want to get rid of some shit, Ria. Yeah. So, we'll just leave that right here and take the key along with us. 
because as far as I know, we do need a lot of room for a lot of random crap. Also, which key is this? Summon? Conductor's room. Okay. Time to fly right back to the other office. And let's not forget to reload. There's an access panel here. You need some kind of a tool. Okie dokie. And that door is locked. Nothing here either. Okie dokie. Are there any zombies about? This game has a habit of, uh, you know, returning zombies in certain rooms. Here it does make sense because not all of them wake up at once. Are there any more of you? Hello, pretty boy. Go back to bed. You look kind of ill. Oh, now that I remember, <laughs> during my last uh, playthrough, I have not... Well, I have noticed this, but if you look right over here, at this cup. That's not how physics works. <laughs> That's not how cups roll on the floor. It's rolling the wrong way. Well, anyway, uh, a little something that Capcom missed during the remaking of this game. <laughs> Use the conductor's key, let's throw it away. Let's nick some conductor's shit. Well, that's useful to have a map like halfway through the part of the game. There's a switch here. Flip it. Hell yeah. The not so secret door opens. Take the red herb. Yes, I shall. Take the green herb. I bloody well will. Let's combine these things and throw them on the floor. Because I need room. Note from the conductor, the key card for the driver's compartment is in my bag as always, but I need the other guy's key too to open a damn thing, uh, but it looks like I've lost it somewhere. If it's a normal key, someone would be sure to turn it in, but this key is different. I'll look for it too, but if you happen to find it, please hand it in. Thanks in advance. Okay. Useful to know. Let's take that and drop it right on the floor. Because I don't have the key for it, what's the point having it? Um, yeah, I will also drop the first aid spray as well. Because at the end of the day, I know that there's going to be loads of healing items when I get up there. Oh look, a bar. Anything to nick around here? Apparently not. Say goodbye. During the party, the picture shows a group of people leaving the wild party. Oh, 
Look at that. It always rains in horror games. At least it got the atmosphere right in this one, unlike Resident Evil 5, where it was like daylight all the time. Right, that's an important key item that we're gonna need. Nice pick, examine. A nice pick with a finely taped point. It looks pretty sharp. I think we can use that to unlock some shit. Any more stuff down here? No. Nope. Take the red herb. We take the green herb. We make a mix herb. And then we drop herb. No need to pick that up. I'll see it at some later points. I will admit this game is quite generous with ammo, especially pistols anyway. Yes, I'll take the first aid spray. Hell yeah, I'll take the shotgun. Come on. And I think this is the part where I, I ran out of room. Right. this here for now. Then we're going to mark these on the map. And then go back for the ice peak. I'm pretty sure there's something in here as well. Hmm. What do you know? Not even a subtitle prompt. I'll probably just use it later if that thing, the big surprise, is going to attack me. Wait a minute, I only got two shells. This could be problematic. Well. This lovely carriage is about to be completely vandalized by something that's so surprisingly huge. I'm surprised that the characters have not noticed it when they're on top of the train. It's like, where did he even come from? Did he get dropped off from some kind of a gigantic helicopter? Come here, bitch. Right, I have no more ammo for that, which is a pity. Come on, pussy. I should barely be able to feel these. Better watch for my ammo level. Come here, you big pussy. Wait a minute, what? He can attack me even when he's dead. Whoa. That's a bit of a surprise, but never mind. Oh, look at that. I blew his brains right out. Ugh. Anywho, um, let's go and use that herb. Ah, no, we're definitely fine. Okay, so the objective now, I believe, is to go back to Billy. Get his sorry ass out of that cabin.
Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. I just got a little bit confused there for a moment. Cannot carry the item right now. Well then, my guess is I'm supposed to drop the shotgun. Because I can't exactly go without... Could just drop the first aid spray. Why not? I don't need that. Yeah, I'm sure that takes two keys. I can't exactly ice pick this one open, unfortunately. Even though it logically does make sense, doesn't it? Pretty sure something is here. Edward, you were so happy just a few hours ago. He's holding something. Pistol ammo. Wicked. Anything else? The body has bite marks all over it. Wouldn't surprise me if uh, some more zombies come and see me here right now. Yeah, marking your items in this game is very important because that way you know exactly where each item is because the good news about this map is it doesn't only show you locked doors but it also shows you what's in which room and exactly where it is which is very very handy in a way I prefer this system to the old-fashioned uh, you know teleporting chest some people are bitching and whining about it on the review boards I don't see what their problem is. I'd say it's an improvement. Right, okay, so... Oh, yeah. Whoa. I wasn't expecting to see a flaming zombie about. Whoa! <laughs> or a second one. Are you guys actually dead this time? Good. Yeah. Awesome. Right then, so let's pick this lock. You don't need to use this right now. Okay. It's locked from the other side. Oh. Oh. I'm supposed to give the ice pick to Billy. Billy Bone. Just before I do something stupid, though, let's double check. 